What's so wonderful about Hollywood is you start with an idea, which was a pirate ride, and then you get really talented people to come up with ideas on how you make a movie. Working on a Jerry Bruckheimer production is a different animal altogether. It's been a real tour of the Caribbean. It's a real epic achievement. We filmed the 200 days. 200 days of filming is almost two thirds of a year, so it's a, it's a lot of work. I don't think I've ever seen something like what we're gonna do on film. Amazing sets, beautiful. You stop and you stare, it, it made me speechless. One of the sets we had a great deal of fun with was the Bayou set, which was shot on stage at Disney. It was amazing walking into the studio and all of a sudden you poked your head round and there was all this water and this amazing tree house. My initial reaction was, can I get the blueprints because I want to live in this. I mean, I want to I want to build this somewhere and live in it. We'll have thousands of people working on this. You're talking about a movie that worked on four islands not county in the United States. St. Vincent is a working class island that we filmed the first one on. Like he's created a city here, a pirate city, and, and we're all part of it. We're bigger than the circus. It's like moving a small division. We would be drinking just a container full of water and Gatorade a day. That's one day. Dominica is just an undeveloped, basically Caribbean mountain paradise, but it's completely undeveloped. Dominica is so unspoiled. They said that if Captain Cook came back and walked the earth again, it's one of the only places he'd recognize. Each and every location we've had to build a road into. Just getting to the site was our first big hurdle. Just inaccessible places that had a goat track before. When I saw the cannibal village, it was really mind blowing. Gorse auto location from the air. We first tried to talk him out of it, and I think he replied, if it was easy, we wouldn't be shooting here. Tutu Gorge has this beautiful waterfall in it, but there's only one way in. It's in by water and it's out by water. Funny way to get to the office, huh? <laughs> Exumus, I think, is my favorite. It's the most beautiful island. I've had it! I've had it with wobbly-legged, rock-soaked pirates! And we were on a spit of land, a sandbar in the middle of the ocean. We're shooting on an island that is half underwater half the day, and we have to plan our schedule around the tide charts. That white sand, that turquoise of the ocean, will just bring such vibrancy to the film. Now we're in the Grand Bahamas in Freeport, where we have this enormous tank. It's the largest open water tank in the world. The purpose was to get some control over some of the more extreme movements we were going to need to do with some of the ships. I think ultimately the joy is, one, it's the challenge, and two, to be able to deliver for the director, deliver for Jerry in the studio, a great looking picture. This one is completely, utterly Jerry Bruckheimer. It's impressive. It's, it's very impressive.